Hello everyone. I'm Yan Hao from the University of Helsinki. Today I will present our work Fair and Representative Subset Selection from Data Streams. In recent years, machine learning algorithms have been widely used for decision making in sensitive domains, such as banking, hiring, and criminal justice. However, the applications of machine learning algorithms could lead to the risk of bias. The algorithms might be biased with respect to some demographic attributes, and the bias in algorithms could be further passed to the decisions. Therefore, fairness has been considered in different problems, including classification, clustering, and DPP-based data summarization. In this paper, we study the problem of fair subset selection from data streams. Subset selection is a natural model for data summarization. For a given data set and a utility function f to measure the representativeness of a subset, its goal is to select a subset to maximize the utility function f. This model have, has been widely used in many real-world applications, including influence maximization, document summarization, recommender systems, exemplar clustering, and so on. In all above applications, the utility function satisfies the diminishing returns property called submodularity. The marginal utility increase of adding an element V to a, a, to a set A is always greater than or equal to adding V to its superset B. Furthermore, we consider the set select, subset selection problem in the streaming setting which maintains summaries within limited memory over massive and high-rate data streams. Generally, our subset selection problem is formulated as the submodular maximization problem and a canality constraint. We aim to find a subset S of, subs of size at most k from dataset V to maximize the utility Fs. The fairness issue we consider for subset selection is similar to um, the one for existing works on key center and the data summarization. Uh, it aims to find a balanced solution with respect to some sensitive attribute uh, like gender and race. We consider that the dataset V is partitioned into L groups according to the sensitive attribute. And we should guarantee that the solution S contains a specific number of items from each group. Our definition of fairness can be seen as a case of partition Metroid constraint. And by setting different values of K, of Ki, we can present different concepts of fairness. For example, proportional representation can be used to preserve the proportion of each group in the ground set V. And the equal representation can be used to guarantee an um, equal number of items from each group. So in general, our fair subset selection problems is formulated as some modular maximization and the partition majority constraints. And besides the submodularity of F, we also made three additional assumptions on F. First, F is normalized. Second, F is monton. And third, the function value of F can be provided by a value oracle. These assumptions are common for existing studies on submodular maximization. Um, the fair submodular maximization problems is NP hard and cannot be approximated within a factor of 1 minus 1 over e, unless p is equal to np. Nevertheless, an offline greedy algorithm achieves a 0.5 approximation for this problem, but it cannot be used to the streaming setting. In this work, we propose efficient algorithms for the fair sum modular maximization problem in the multi-pass and single-pass streaming settings. 
Here are our main results in this work. In the multipath setting, our algorithm has lower time complexity than existing algorithms with the same approximation factor of 1.5 minus epsilon. In the single path streaming setting, our algorithm improves the approximation ratio of existing algorithm from 0.25 to 0.5 minus epsilon. Uh, next, I will introduce how our, our multi-pass algorithm works. Uh, in the first pass, it will identify an atom with the maximum utility among all atoms and add it to the initial solution. Then, in subsequent passes, it scans the dataset sequentially with decreasing thresholds. In each pass, an atom is added to the solution if its marginal utility gain reaches the current threshold. Finally, in the last pass, it adds random atoms to the solution for ensuring the fairness constraint. Here are some theoretical results of our multi-pass algorithm. Next, I will present the basic procedure of our single-pass algorithm. The first stage is stream processing. Different from the multi-pass algorithm, it maintains different candidate solutions with different thresholds at the same time. For each arrival atom V, it first checks whether V can be added to each candidate, candidate solution based on the threshold. Then, if V is in, neither added to any candidate solution, nor safe to be discarded, it will be added to the buffer. Otherwise, V can be discarded directly. Then after processing all uh, elements uh, for one pass, uh, we have a post-processing procedure. In the post-processing -process, post -processing procedure, the buffered atom will be reconsidered. It runs the greedy algorithm to add the items in the buffer into unfilled candidate solutions. After, mm, finally, the best solution after post-processing will be retained as the final solution. Uh, here are some theoretical results of our single-pass algorithm. Uh, from the theoretical results, we can find one problem of our single-pass algorithm. It may keep all n atoms in the buffer B. So we further propose some heuristic rules to restrict the buffer size. When the buffer size exceeds a limit, we will drop items with relatively low marginal utility gains from the buffer. From the buffer. In this case, the approximation factor might drop from 0 0.5 minus epsilon to 1 over 2k in the worst case. Uh, nevertheless, uh, our empirical evaluation shows that restricting the buffer size does not degrade the solution quality um, very obviously in practice. The last part is our experimental evaluation. We compare our, our, our proposed algorithms with different baselines, including the unfair algorithm and uh, the state of the art multi pass streaming algorithms and uh, um, the state of the art single pass streaming algorithms. We also use different concepts of fairness in our experiments, including both the proportional representation and the equal representation. For the evaluation metrics, we use both solution quality, which are the utility values of the objective functions and the running time for comparison. The first application for evaluation is the maximum coverage on graphs, which aim to select a small set of nodes, such that the union of their neighbor neighborhoods has the largest size. The, ex the experiments are performed on a public available dataset POCAC, which can be download, uh, downloaded from um, 
the, the SNAP dataset. We use age or gender as the sensitive attribute for graph partition. Um, from the figures, we can see um, our algorithms outperform the state-of-the-art algorithms in both multi-path streaming and single-path streaming setting. The second application for evaluation is personalized recommendation, which aims to select a set of items that are both relevant to a given user and representative among all items in the dataset. The experiments are performed on the movie length dataset, which is, which is also publicly available. Um, we also present the experimental results. And the results also show the superior performance of our algorithms compared with existing algorithms in both multi-pass and single-pass streaming setting. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.